Hi guys, Craig here with American Bass TV. I have another pros pointer for you today. Before we get into this pros pointer, let me invite you to send in your own video for us to feature you in a pros pointer video. Send a video of you showing your favorite technique, lure modification, anything that you would like to share to help everyone else catch more bass. You can use your phone for the video, shoot it in the landscape direction, that's the wide direction. If you keep it under a minute, you should be able to text that right over to our office number. If it's too big to text, you can email it to info at AmericanBass.com. Don't worry about trying to make the video perfect. We can edit glitches that you might have in your submission. Then be sure to share these videos with your friends. Encourage them to subscribe and hit the notify icon. That way they will be notified every time we release a new video. Okay, let's jump into this pros pointer. This one is being presented by Jim Waits. Jim is a longtime American Bass Tournament pro. He has 35 tournament wins on the American Bass Tournament Trail and a record 12 American Bass Angler of the Year titles. Jim is also a top outfitter for Ron Speed Jr.'s Adventures. These are the trips to Mexican lakes for the best bass fishing in the world. So if you're considering a Mexican bass fishing trip, Jim's the guy to talk to. Jim's going to share a tip that helps him with his tournament success. Okay, everyone. The tackle tip I'd like to share with you is using a lure retriever. There's some really expensive crankbaits and hanging them up and breaking them off on the bottom is no fun. And if you're tournament fishing, you got to throw those baits. You don't want to go through several in a day. It can get really expensive. Uh, the tip is using a lure retriever to get your cranks back. You slip it on the line, run it down. There's a lot of good ones on the market. But I like this style. I don't know what brand this is, but one that has the chains on it. You hook it on the line, it comes with a roll cord. Some people put it on a fishing reel. Just make sure you got a super heavy cord and enough uh, 20, 30 feet to get as deep as your baits go. You run it down and keep banging it and banging it. And the chains, some of them don't have the chains on them. I like the ones with the chains. They finally keep doing it, doing it, and you get straight over the lure, banging it on there, and then you finally snag the hooks and tear it loose. Get that bait back and you can keep throwing it. Might be your hot bait put more fish in the boat. Thanks for the great tip. If you like this video, please hit the like button. It really does help this channel. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Good fishing.